Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Samurai Gaming, continuing our playthrough of Hearts of Stone for The Witcher 3. So, let us continue. So, since our last video, I just had to look up a few things, such as how to lock onto an enemy, Moving. and uh, use the uh, crossbow. So, hold on. Spike bolt, tracking bolt. Yes. Come on. Anyway, so let us head off to meet the master, meet Master Mirror at midnight. Oh, you know, let us just practice here. Again, since I haven't played. Okay. Good warm up for today. Hello, Roach. Hope you weren't too scared. Take a little bit, a little bit of a rest for Roach. Okay. Very, very nice landscape here. I'll do a side quest later. Actually, you know what? Since I can do fast travel, I think it's better if I just uh, need to repair my weapons. Father, 
Well, well, another free car. I find it now. Boogie, Mr. Fancy Pants. Rather be Denovi, Brad. That's just fine with me. All soldiers, more work. Greetings, Ogier. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Uh, let's see what you got. What do you have on offer? Okay. Required level 37. Okay, that's fine. Let's get some repair kits here. Uh... How much gold do I have? Uh, 1086. You know what? I'll just take all of them. Take that repair kit too. Uh, you know, I'll not get that one. That's a bit much. Whoops. Actually, eh, whatever. That's probably okay. Crossbows. Crafting. Silver sword. I don't have all components yet. Steel sword. I need something that's high level. Nope, does not look which layer all parts present. Nah. Hold on. Uh. Repair. Not enough coin. Three hundred twenty-two. Okay. So long. Okay. You know what? Let me just inventory. Dreamman's armor repair kit. Uh, where? Uh, I guess weapon repair kits are probably down here. It's good enough. Still gotta meet him over there. Okay. Eternal fire won't begin. to find the nearest gate. Oh! Excuse me. Fuck. Eh, eh, no swearing. Ah! Watch your step. Oh. Nowadays, one note, one word, and nothing oh. send you to the stake. They don't worry. To her, you make a Shame fine me. sailor. I'm dying. Let's see if this place has, I mean, this game has a photo mode. Forgot to check that. Okay. Let's, get, let's go here. Now 6 p.m. I think I can. Meditate. Okay, let's meet this mirror master.
I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans? Elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. Him? Uh... Yes, shit list. What did he do to you? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Does he now? Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I've many interesting wares on offer. Wares? Now Where's you have my, my attention. Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Sounds good. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. Okay. What did you do for him? What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle. Yet the cold tore right through you. All gear had appeared at the break of dawn. Gaunt as a rail. His shirt, mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help. And help I gave. Made him a rich man. Successful. Esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards... He turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. Mm -hmm. And that is where you come in. Okay. How much is his debt? Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? 
A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Hmm. Rather not get involved and wonder what he'll say if I say that. No, what? This business, it's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please hear me out. You shall see Allgeard as a vile man. Or, as they say in the West, a real son of a whore. Okay. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everett. You're a genie? But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, Join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we share. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Don't like this at all. <sighs> it all seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Allgeard. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Uh, sounds good to me. Fine. I'll go see Allgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. I know, I like that mark. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Okay, I was checking to see if there was a photo mode. I'm gonna try something out. No, I'll 12, F12. Okay, never mind. I'll look at it later. Was it Alpha F2? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, uh, let's see. Can I like switch it? Okay, there we go. I can switch around like that. Okay, let me just quickly get into view. I always like the moon in the background, so sorry. Just want to take a one picture for my thumbnail. Okay, snap. Okay, I mean, see how that works. May take another one later. Okay, so where to now? I am going to world map. Okay, back to the state here. So quests. Uh, yes. Let's complete this quest and then I will do a side quest. 
Away with you, geese. Uh, okay, that's probably not good. Well, look who's here. The witch who with a stick up his ass. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fiery pox. Could say so. Manners burning. You noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's old Geard? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! <laughs> I ate with yous, drank with yous, fought beside yous, and you kill me now? I'm one of yous! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Careful now. I'll tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, a light like, and you'll answer. Just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head, or not? Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, Abby? Now piss off! We've work to do. Wait. Let's talk about this. I know Geard wants him dead. Still don't know why, though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really. Just curious. Cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. <laughs> what is this row? Are you not done with it? My ears wither from the screams. <laughs> ah, Geralt, as you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not no! been there? You killed my father! Oof. Not I. You lie! Hawthorne! Oh, uh, is he a Highlander? That man killed him. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. Got something stuck there. Now, where were we? Really necessary, that whole show? Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks, chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all, and all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plough through that moment, go further, 
reach beyond what's known as possible. Recognize the mark. You know what this is? I cannot be certain, but I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If it is left old chart, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gone to old dick. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That's true. You knew that Toad was a prince. That true. You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgierd grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. See ya? Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Okay. Seems like a private spat. This thing between you and Master Mirror. Your quarrel. Really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him until you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. An impossible task. I mean, like John Wick did? What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Ephiri Dofa ain't something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah. I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Okay, you knowingly put me in danger. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Okay, what are your quests? Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossodi. His house? So surprised. 
But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any helpful hints? Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. Oakley dokley. The brother shouldn't be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood? True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Okay. Mm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring in that. Ooh. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Do you have any coin? Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Because I guess you're a genie, granting luck, three Geralt. wishes. Okay. Oh, quest completed. Cool. So let's see, uh, quests, okay, Dead Men's Party, uh, yes, okay, I think, okay, you know, I think I shall now start, uh, let's see, uh, let's, I'm not going to do all the side quests, um, but, you know, I'll do a few of them, so let's start with the one that I 
got from uh, last video. Rose on a red field. Okay, where do I need to go? I need to go there. Alrighty. Roach! Whoops. Don't want to hurt you with that. That's it, Roach. Sure is raining a lot. Okay. Looks like a Come bunch on, of man. enemies that I need to kill. Down you go. Okay, investigate for clues. Whoops, I missed that. There we go. Maybe I'll use my. Smells like solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. Oh, another one. Smells of... Uh, they were cooking Fistech. Took most of the equipment, only left what was broken. Okay... What else? True as true can be. Dangerous trade narcotics. Definitely. Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. Thing, senses, see anything? Oh. Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Okay, I guess let's follow the footprints. Stopped here for a second, hid, then ran on. Stopped here for a second, hid, then ran on. Okay. Okay. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot from the village that direction looks like. Anything else? Must be something else here. Look around for signs of the man. Scar on his forehead. 
Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this sound over there. No, Roach! You don't hurt Roach. Oh wait, is that? No. Look for, around for signs of the man. Hold on. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Hoofprints. Leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. So, nope, steel weapon. Okay. Now, where was I? Hopefully I'll be meeting him soon. Explore the knight's camp. Follow the knight, huh? Shut up. Did he say witness me? Yeah, like Mad Max? Crossbow jerk. Pathetic. Oh! 
Ugh. Okay. Time to loot. And while I'm here, better just repair all my armor and stuff. Well, I still have to finish this quest first. Okay. Now we're two. Okay, gotta go over there. So I'll call on good old Roach. On. All go, right. go. I'll just ignore those enemies. Come on now. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, How about no? Why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. What's inside? Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two. Uh, requires delusion level two. Okay, wanna fight? Let's do this. Three. Or not. Okay, there we go. Shut up and fight. Not. Now burn. Okay, you.
Oh no, this seems extensive. Change. I want to see. Did I get a better sword? No. 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 Okay. Okay, apparently this is better armor, so yeah, sure, I'll take that. Actually, you know, I'll just stick with this armor for now. Sleeping on the job? Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned. Or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colors. And we must find a new place in this world. Uh, so you've become bandits. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would. But how do you even. I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jack Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant! Draw your blade! No okay. need to yell. Just ask politely. Any last words? Ah! Okay, gotta get those cross bolters. Whoops, actually undrew my sword. Come on, all together! Ah! Too many people. Dang it. Okay, let me try it again. Load most recent save. I'm a yo and drove but rat took him. Where so you huh? No, no, that no. Oh, 
is that crossbow jerk. Okay, down. Hey, now just you and me, Ulrich. Dead. Now let's loot. seems that I have way too much stuff in my inventory, so I'm going to drop a few things. Okay, sort items Oops. by price. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do I drop? Drop. Drop. Nope, I guess not enough. Okay. to keep a lot of this stuff, but... Okay. Chicken sandwich. Tea bottle. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have some... Sort items type. Just want to see if there's any like chests or something here. I mean, there's got to be, right? Okay. Guess I have to drop some crap from my inventory again. Whoops. No. 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 Uh, okay. 
7303. Okay, that's fine. So now to collect my reward. Where is the closest way to get there? Okay. Uh I guess I'll just go there. There you are. Whoops. All right. Guarded treasure, not right now. Okay. your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just stab them. No, just killed them. Ugh. So handsome and so boring. Here, Puss Peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Nice. That bloody new guardian of Julia can kiss me down there. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly find a blacksmith to sell stuff. Okay. Or am I not going the right direction? No, I'm going to complete opposite direction. Cutscene. That oh, was okay. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? I'll go there later. See you. Alright. Farewell. Private Kleiner. Attention! <sighs> Now I know where to go for the other quest, but that's not I came for. Best 
Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Okay. Show me your wares. Show me what you have in stock. Okay, now I am going to sell some stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. It's stuff that I won't need. This one, this one, uh, that one. Oh, does not have enough coin. All right. Let's see what you have, though. Doesn't seem like anything I really need right now. That's fine. Actually, can I sell him anything Show else? Show me what you have in stock. Food, drink, quest items, crafting. This is stuff that doesn't have any weight. Okay, that's fine. So long. Wrong door. Everyone to me! To me! Can I meditate here? Meditate until it's like 8 p.m. Okay. He's got swords in his back. So, uh, next quest we're going to do is Dead Man's Party. And we will save that Let's for the back. next video. So, I'm just going to quickly save. Oops. Okay, so quick to me. Menu. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this edition of Witcher 3. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.